Hello, Paul Bousman, Mobile Again. Imagine this situation. You have a new quality manager starting in a couple of days and his first assignment will be to visit farms who have egg quality problems. The question is of course how to identify those farms. Well, you can do two things. Either you spend some tedious days in your office going to various uh, records and printouts and make an Excel file. Or, of course, you use iMOBA. So let's have a look what we can do for you. In order to explain how easy it is to get a good overview about the performance of different supplying farms, we're talking about an offline situation in this example movie, uh, we go to a date of the year that we want to review. This is typically something you don't want to review over a short period of time, but longer. Maybe a month or maybe even a year. So in this case I have set a date in December. I selected the egg type that I want to review. Suppose I only want to review the free range uh, farms that are supplying the eggs. And then I'll sc scroll down to the quality section and hit any tile here for further information. This will bring me to the quality section. As you can see, uh, starting with table X uh, and all the graphs we know already. And if we scroll down, there is a certain one saying shell quality per supply. And this is an interesting one. Shell quality per supply in this case is for one particular day. But let's have a look at the complete year 2018. I click here. And what the program is doing right now, it's accumulating all the various supplies that were run over the year that will take a couple of seconds but after that uh, it's accumulating millions of eggs uh, in this uh, small time frame and the graph appears now this is an interesting one and why is that because i see here on the horizontal axis a weight scale it starts in this case it's auto scaling but it starts with 54 grams up to 67 grams those numbers represent the average weight of a certain supply over that particular year. For each supply there's two dots. There's a gray dot and that shows the crack percentage and that refers to the left vertical axis. You can see here crack percentage on the vertical axis. And there's also a yellow uh, square and that refers to the leaker percentage. And that, ref and that again uh, is in line with the right scale here on the right hand side of the graph because leakers, leaker numbers occur in, in much smaller quantities of course uh, compared to cracks. So that's the reason we, why we have two scales. Now what the computer is doing for me, it draws a red line. You see this one. And that red line uh, reflects uh, the situation where 90% of the uh, supplies that came into my machine are under and only 10% is above. As you can see here, that's explained here. 90% of all dots are below the line. And this helps me by saying whatever is above the line represents the 10% worst situation. So it's quite easy now to go here and see, hey, this leaker percentage is 1.09%. It's extremely high leaker percentage. It's giving me the supplier name here, supplier 12, shed number 1. That same supplier 12 also has a crack percentage, which is uh, pretty high, 4%, 3.97, as you can see here. And uh, that's also on the red line. So 90% of all the supplies are below the red line. And so I can easily identify by just hovering over it which farms are doing um, best. Those are the lowest here, the, the lower regions, and which are performing worst. And those are, of course, the higher numbers here. And that's uh, an easy way to identify quality of incoming eggs. And the funny thing is that we see exactly what we expect. That is that with smaller egg weights, smaller eggs in general have a higher shell quality so less cracks and less leakers and you see the more we come to the right the higher the average weight of a batch is the more the graph is spreading and uh, the more high numbers appear and it's also comforting to see that even with 
higher averages there are suppliers who have an excellent quality like this one 0.17% leakers and 0.9% uh, crack very nice quality although the eggs are weighing almost 66 grams so they're uh, more towards the end of the laying period I hope this uh, explanation helps you in using this tool for quickly identifying problem situations thank you for watching